Hello, I'm Sharon Davis. I'm an Olympic silver medalist from the swimming pool and I'm gonna be reading you a story today. It's called Safe by the Sea. Tim and Lily were very excited. They were off to visit grandma and granddad at the seaside. In the back of the car, they were all strapped safely into their car seats. The children chattered happily about what fun they would have. It was the first time baby Cora had been to the beach. She giggled and played with her favorite toy, Sally Starfish. Oh, Sally. When they arrived at the beach, the car park was very busy. The children wanted to find Grandma and Grandad, but Mummy made them wait patiently and helped them to put on sunscreen. It's important to wear sunscreen to stop the sun from burning you, she explained. No sunscreen, no beach, she said when Tim started to complain. And we must all wear sun hats. Dad's sun hat wasn't quite as new as he thought it was. Once they were all ready, they set off with their buckets and spades, swimming costumes and towels. Mummy had packed a delicious picnic and a few other things that they might need for a fun day at the beach. Daddy found it quite hard pushing baby Cora's pushchair across the sand. The beach was very big, but at last they found Grandma and Grandad. Why did you pick such a busy beach, complained Lily. Why didn't we go to a beach with no one there? Well, explained Grandma, if you're going into the sea, you should always go to a beach with lifeguards. Can you see them over there? Oh yes, cried Tim. There they are, wearing yellow and red. I can see them over by the truck and standing next to a surfboard. Are they going surfing? No, said Grandma. They are not here to have fun. If someone needs help in the water, they will use the surfboard to help rescue them. They spend all day watching the water to make sure that everyone is safe. Right, said Daddy. What's first? I want to go swimming, said Lily. I want to build a sandcastle, said Tim. Safety, said Mummy. Before we start having fun, we need to remember how to be safe. We must always stay together, said Mummy. Make sure that you are always with Mummy or Daddy or Grandma or Grandad. If for some reason you lose us, Go to the lifeguards and tell them you are lost and they will help you. Okay, said the children. Can we go and have fun now? Daddy, said Tim, can we play on those rocks under the cliff? Oh no, Tim, said Daddy. See that big sign over there? That tells us that the cliff is not safe and rocks can easily fall off them. We must stay away from these cliffs. That dinghy looks dangerous, said Grandma. Nonsense, said Grandad. It's so old, said Mum. Look at the windsock. That means the wind is far too strong for an inflatable boat. Baby Cora was enjoying herself too, playing in the sand and happily trying to eat it. Oh no, said everyone, don't eat the sand, Cora. The children played in the sand. They made Grandad into a sand mermaid. Thirsty work, Grandad said. Let's all have a drink of water to cool down. We must take the bottles home with us to recycle them, said Tim. Right, said Tim, I'm ready for a swimming. He started running down to the beach towards the sea. Wait, cried Lily, remember mummy said we must stay together. We can't just run into the sea, said dad. See those flags over there? The lifeguards put the flags up to show us where it is safe to swim. A red flag means danger, we must not go into the water. The black and white flag means the area is for surfers. We must not swim there. Red and yellow flags show the swimming area. We are going into the water, we must stay together between the red and yellow flags. Look, Grandma, said Lily, pointing to a sign by the lifeguard station. The lifeguards want us to remember to do four things. One is to stop and think. What dangers can we see? Number two is stay together. I know all about that. Mummy told us to stay together. Number three is float. What does that mean? Just then, two of the lifeguards came over. Hi, my name is Anne, and this is John. We are lifeguards here, she said. Float is what we want you to do if you fall into the water or start finding it hard to swim. You need to turn onto your back so your face is looking at the sky and put your arms and legs out like a star. Would you like to have a practice, said Anne. Yes, please, cried Lily, and she quickly lay on her back like a star. I'm going to try that too, said Grandma. Perfect, said Anne, and they all made star shapes together. 
If you're in trouble in the water, put your hands straight up in the air like this, said Anne. The fourth thing we want you to remember is that if someone needs help at the seaside, call 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. Where has Grandad got to, said Mum. Oh no, stop, shouted the children. They went quickly to the harbour wall with Dad, where Grandad was about to dive in. Ah, look at me, Grandad said. I used to jump from here when I was a lad. Grandad, don't be so silly, said Tim. It's very dangerous. Look at the sign. You should never jump into the water if you don't know how deep it is. There might be rocks. You could hurt yourself. You're right, said Grandad. Let's go into the water safely from the shore. Everyone paddled happily together at the edge of the sea. Suddenly, Grandad started hopping about and yelling. Ouch! Ouch! Crab has pinched my toe. He lifted his foot out of the water to show everyone and suddenly there was a big splash as Grandad fell backwards into the water. Quick, cried Lily. Get on your back, Grandad. Look at the sky and make a starfish. Grandad did as he was told and Tim went over and helped him up. Oh, thank you, said Grandad. I am silly. It wasn't a crab. I just stood on a shell. I am so glad you know what to do, said Lily and Tim. I think after the excitement, we all need some ice cream with a flake. At the end of the day, they all had a lovely picnic at the beach. Cora was very happy as she had found Sally Starfish at last. Grandad bought everyone an ice cream and there were no more accidents, except that Grandad did get ice cream all down the front of his shirt. Sally Starfish. So remember the things that you're supposed to remember. Always do as the Coast Guards tell you to do and lie on your back and make a shape just like Sally. Be safe on the beach and enjoy yourselves.